Hello everybody, this is Bowie Hunter, and welcome to a new series of the game Okami. Now, I've played this game before, and I have beat it. And let me just get past that. And I have beat it. And it's a really cool game. You play as a wolf who is a reincarnated god and you fight bad guys and I wish it would stop doing this thank you okay I guess the only way to stop that is by starting so we're gonna start in so we're gonna start a new game <sighs> and honestly it's been so long since I've played it I really don't remember much so I'm not go I'm not going to skip this cutscene. By the way, the voices are really weird here. Long, long ago, a tiny hamlet known as Kamiki lay nestled in a grove of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Each and every tree around the quiet burg was honored as a god. However, the village was not without its dark secrets. I'll warn you now, this is a really long story. Hold on, give me a second. I believe that word is satiate. Uh, skipping that. The appetite of Hiroshi, a fearsome cave dwelling beast, a young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. With a body like a mountain and eight heads man mounted on necks the size of tree trunks, its blood red eyes alone were said to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dare disobey the horrific beast. When the night of the sacrifice drew near, a mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. That's us! This wolf, its coat as brilliant as snow, was dubbed Shiranui? I'm not I'm not really good at pronouncing the names in here. The wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. People assumed the wolf to be a familiar of Oroshi. Not good. One villager took it upon himself to face the fearsome Shiranui. Shiranui? I guess? I'm not really sure. The warrior Nagi attempted many times to challenge the wolf. But his attempts were thwarted by the wolf's swift, swift movements. Before long, the night of the accursed festival has arrived. Had arrived. A white plumbed arrow heralded the coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squarely into the home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by this sign. Determined to put an end to Roshi once and for all, Nagi traveled to the beast's cave in, in place of his beloved. How touching. The moon cave, a place as dark as evil itself, wow, served as 
Orochi's home. As Nagi stood bravely before the entrance, a beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson upon eight thrashing necks. Orochi stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagi leapt with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly. On and on he sliced, well into the moonless night. But Orochi's hide was like steel. The blade left nary a scratch. This is a long intro sequence, by the way. At long last, Nagi... Nagi, his energy spent from the intense battle, dropped to his knees, fatigued and grasped and gasping for breath. He knew he was staring death in the face. It was then that the wolf appeared. As if to protect Nagi, it stood its ground before Roshi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brightly. At last, it was Shiranui, the wolf that dwelled outside the village. Bearing its fearsome claws, the wolf leapt toward Orochi. I swear, I cannot pronounce this thing. I don't know how it's pronounced. Orochi reared its terrifying heads, readying its fangs for battle. The two beasts struggled wildly, thrashing in the darkness. Mysterious and terrifying, the spectacle continued. The wolf summoned gusts of divine wind to counter Roshi's flames. This is a very artistic game, by the way. As Roshi closed in on the wolf, sharpened its sharpened claws glistening, a gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. The wolf fought gallantly to gain the upper hand. However, Orochi protected itself by a mystical power, protected by a mystical power, was not easily bested. The wolf covered in gashes, majestic coat dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orochi. Orochi saw a chance to strike what would be the final blow. But the wolf refused to give in with its last ounce of strength. The majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly, the black clouds overhead dissipated. The light from above glinted off Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope. I'm not just going to show this intro sequence, by the way, I'm going to actually play in this episode. Guided by his sword, Nagi, who had been taking shelter, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his adversary. That's pretty loud, isn't it? Channeling all his strength into his sacred and battered arms, he leapt ferociously toward Hiroshi, his sword po poised high. The golden sword danced in his hands like a puppet on a string. One by one, Roshi's fearsome head separated from their owner. Roshi's broken body collapsed in a lake of its own blood. In that instant, the curse that plagued the villagers was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. The wolf had succumbed to Roshi's poison and struggled to breathe. Now it gets sad. Nagi scooped the beast into his arms and returned, returned to Kamiki. When they reached the village, the wolf was no longer moving. The village elder gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, the wolf let out a hoarse and pitiful bark. 
then closed its eyes and drifted off as, in, as if into a slumber. Peace had at last returned to Kamiki Village. In honor of the wolf's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue of the wolf within it. Nagi's sword was christened... I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. And placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace. However, this is not the end of the story. There is more to this tale than most people know. A hundred years had passed since Nagi and the, wolf heroic, the wolf's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. My voice is getting... cracked. There's a lot of reading, by the way. Is this the legendary sword? Yeah, you guys can read that one. No, it couldn't be. It's just a legend. Nothing but a fairy tale. Yeah! Sure! Okay. Nice going, dummy. He has a great voice, doesn't he? Oh, he who seeks power, he has bro he who has broken my bonds. Speak the words, I wish darkness unto the world. Utter the prayer unto me and unleash my power. Yeah, that's a no. I think this might be a little loud. I'm going to see if I can turn down the volume in the options menu after this. Great, isn't it? A horrible tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. The tiny settlement of Kamiki Village enjoyed the protection of a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. This part gets a little weird, by the way. Wood Sprite, Sequoia. How troublesome. This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. What has transpired to bring about such a such calamity? You're talking to a statue. We must act quickly. There is no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years. I spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. Amaterasu, now is the time. We have never needed your power more. 
Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. Okami Amaterasu We are majestic as all get out, aren't we? Such divine white light, such beauty and grace. The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the origin of all that is, Amaterasu. How delightful to see that the Savior whose brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demon so many years ago has not changed one bit seeing you emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart <laughs> okay she just got dissed <laughs> and with Tarasu, Gaze above you and take in the condition of the sky. Since your untimely departure from our midst, the world has succumbed to devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon. But never have the circumstances been worse than they are at this very moment. Please use your powers to banish the darkness and punish those who would be it, who would do us harm. This is where it gets weird. What on earth? You again. Boy, for a little thing, you sure make a big fuss. I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more interesting, that's all. Bug, I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I am a wandering artist. The name's Isun. Wandering artist, Isun. I'll show you just how great I, I am and it won't be long till you're bowing before my great brush. Well, what do you think? Even cuter than a real thing, no? What's with you, furball? You look kinda down in the dumps. Actually, you look kinda familiar. Got it? You look just like that statue of... Yeah, what's his name? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Are you crazy? A handsome guy like me should never be covered in wolf slobber. You'll regret messing with the great Isun. Don't make me use my prize sword Then Kamaru against you. Yeah, okay. What's that growling sound? And why is it so dark anyway? Oh great god Amaterasu! I've used all the power I have to protect Kamiki village. The village lives on, their spirits lie encased in my fruit. Cut it free and the village will be reborn. I trust in you. I know that you will lead us down the right path. Whoops. 
I uh, skipped that part. Not on purpose. The trees return to normal, huh? As the Coyo girl shirts sure said some weird stuff. The villager spirits are being kept inside the fruit. That's the fruit. That girl said that if you cut it down, the villager the village will be restored. But it's awfully high up there. If you don't use some kind of special power, there's no way you're gonna reach it. This darkness is really getting to me, too. A lot can happen while you're taking a nap. Ain't that the truth? Okay, so now we're playing. Oh man, it's been a really long time since I played. This is on the PS2, by the way. So, okay, triangle is dig. That's attack. Square is attack. X to jump, as normal. Um. What? Oh, that's a map. Okay, let me, uh... Whoops. Okay, bring that down a little bit so we can hear things. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Now it's a little bit bearable. Alright, so let's go. I'm going to keep this video going. Where are we? It got awfully quiet all of a sudden. I don't remember any place like this in the village. Well, we better keep our eyes peeled. You can use the right analog stick to look around. The L1 button changes your point of view. Boy, you really look helpless. You sure you're gonna be okay? Hold on. Um. Okay. Down is up, up is down. Hold on. That's an origin mirror. They say your reflection, once your reflection appears on its surface, your memories will be stored in the mirror for all eternity. You can save your progress here. Hey, look at that. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. We're skipping this. Save. I'm not gonna end the episode here. Okay, this was my first game. Uh, this is the save of this. I'm replaying it on here. Um... Alright, let's overwrite this one. By the way, I got a giant gummy bear sitting next to me, sitting next to me and I'm slowly nibbling on it. It weighs a ton. Alright, so let's do something here and then I'll end the episode. I'm not going to end it yet. That was just the intro sequence. Look at all the pots, just waiting to be broken. If you bust them, there might be something good inside. Press the square button, yeah, yeah, okay. Ah. Um, hold on. That's better. That's, that's much better. Way to go, my furry friend. You can do that anytime you see something you can break. I have yen. It's normal for a wolf to collect money, by the way. Don't worry about it. 
Don't go off the edge. That's bad. Look at this, just from pots, I've got 160 yen. That's dollars, by the way. If you can't tell. Hold on there, for a ball. Get a load of that. That chest looks mighty tempting. Let's go check it out. Getting up there should be a piece of cake. Press X to jump. X again to do a wall jump. Yeah, yeah, okay. <sighs> Am I gonna have to invert everything? That's better. This should be normal. Normally, uh, before I changed it, it was press right and it would go left, press left and it would go right. Isn't that normally what the inversion is? Because now I'm pushing left, it's going left, now I'm pushing right, it's going right. Isn't that what normal should be? I knew you could do it. They say good luck is found in high places. So keep your eyes peeled, we don't want to miss any treasure. BAM! You obtain, you obtain, holy bow small. Amateur Ross's favorite snack restores three units of solar energy. I guess that's our hell. Got a lot of stuff here. Alright. Looks like the bridge is out. This is where the game gets interesting. I love this. This shouldn't be so hard. Um, Amaterasu, was it? That's kind of long. Mind if I call you Amy? Listen, Amy. Ever heard of the spirits of the brush? Good brushwork has its own soul. At least that's what they say. Just watch. It'd take all day to explain. A picture is worth a thousand words, right? That is true, actually. I like that. I like that a lot. Nice, huh? Just a little technique I've mastered called rejuvenation. It's one of the many brush techniques that use divine power. It's a brush god power that can restore broken or missing things. I've practiced really hard just to master this one technique. But there are 13. Each one is a power of one of the 13 brush gods. Originally, all 13 were a single powerful deity. When the deity died, its power was split in 13 separate gods. The gods now dwell within objects all around us, but, god or no god, how could anyone have the power to master all 13? Well, no spoilers. But I hope it should be pretty obvious. What's going on? Okay, I'm just looking up. River of the Heavens. River of the Heavens? They mean that fabled Stardust River? Sure don't see anything like that around here. It couldn't be that little puddle over there, could it? No, it couldn't. Let's explore... Oh, wait, first. <laughs> Get the cash. Everyone needs cash, even divine wolves. Let's go up here. Oh, come on, I wanted to collect those coins. Look at the stars twinkle. I haven't seen such beautiful nighttime sky in ages. Hey, look. Are those stars forming a pattern, or is it just me? Hmm, there's one missing. Guess I'll just have to draw the missing star. Looks like I'm just not ready to draw missing stars. Press the R1 button and then hold to hold the brush, then the square button to draw. I sure spent a heck of a lot of time practicing that. Mumble. Oh, so he mumbled that. Okay. Uh, hold R1. 
This would be a lot easier. Stop that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This would be a lot easier on the DS. The reason that I didn't do it before is because that pattern was in the way. So I couldn't see where the top star goes. There it is! Aha! I'm not going to read this, by the way. I'm gonna leave that guy. I'm gonna leave that to you guys. I'm giving my voice a break. If you missed any of that, just go back and pause and read it. Okay. Wow, that was Yog Yomigami, the god of rejuvenation. Wait, so if you have the power of rejuvenation now, can you really use it to restore the river of the heavens? That would mean you were as good with. That would mean. You were as good with a brush as yours truly. Nah, it couldn't be true. Who else can master this incredible god technique? Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Doubter. I'll show you. Okay, I'll draw this river and then I'll call it an episode. So, what was it? R1? This would be much easier on the DS. Whoa! A reverse Stardust. So this really must be the river of the heavens. But what I really w want to know is who the heck drew the darn thing. Well, you know. I'm swimming! Alright. Let's get this. You obtain... Astral pouch. Look what you found, furball. This astral pouch. Astral? Whatever. Here's amazing. It can swallow up lots of food. Then when it's full, it can revive its owner when he or she dies. Let's start feeding it with, with whatever food we can find around here. An apple. Fills it a little bit. Alright. Consume the peach. Mm-hmm. And the end. And an orange. Alright, jump through the portal. And I'll call it an episode. I forgot how long that intro sequence was. Alright, so thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.